hi <laughs> I feel like it has actually been forever since I've sat down and shot a video but welcome back to my channel Today's video is gonna be a little juicy one. I wanted to do like a story time, open up a bit about my dating experiences. This particular date um, was an interesting one. So if you are excited for this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, come on now. We're back and better than ever. So we're gonna jump right into this story because I just, I have to get this experience off of my chest. Honestly, like, Wow, where do I even begin? This was one of, you know, my trips, <laughs> one of my annual trips to Lagos, Nigeria. You guys know I tend to go to, back to Nigeria every year, every December. Um, I was in Lagos, you know, just gallivanting, doing my thing, enjoying life with my girls, all willy-nilly, right? And then I get this WhatsApp message from somebody that I know. I am going to omit her name, but let's say her name is Jess. That's important, that name is important, Jess. So Jess puts me in a WhatsApp group. The name of the WhatsApp group is Good People Know Good People. I said, ah, what is this? And then she's basically like, hey Chizzy, I just wanted to introduce you to this person and we're gonna call this person um, <laughs> Roscoe, okay? <laughs> so she was like, um, in the WhatsApp message, I just wanted to, so she put my, so she put my number, she, she put me in a group chat with this other, with Roscoe, and it was basically like, hey Chizzy, I want you, to, I want to introduce um, Roscoe to you. You guys are both like entrepreneurs, and I see you guys are both in Lagos. I think, you know, good people know good people, and you guys are both amazing people, and you guys should connect. And I was just like, oh, okay, cool, because I have rapport with Jess. You know, she helped me do a couple of things in my business, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. Even though I'm just a tea, okay. I was already kind of on the fence about Jess already, like, anyway. So she just introduces me to this person and I'm like, okay, cool. I originally thought Roscoe was, I just assumed Roscoe was a woman. I don't know why, but I just, a woman was introducing me to someone, so I just figured she was a woman as well. And plus their name was a unisex name, so I just, I don't know, I just I, I just assumed it was a woman. So yeah, they're like, um, they're great, they do this, they're in Lagos, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, lovely. Nice to meet you, Roscoe. <laughs> and Roscoe's like, nice to, likewise, nice to meet you. I'll um, message you on the side. I'm a very open person, like, if I know someone, like if I have rapport with someone and they like feel like I should meet someone, I'm gonna be pretty open to them. That's the only time I'm going to be, though. Be like, you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't just randomly be okay with meeting up with someone, but because I had rapport with Jess, I'm like, I'll be open to this situation. Plus, I thought it was a woman, so I'm like, I'm always down to connect with another woman, please. So Roscoe messages me separately on WhatsApp, and that's when I saw their picture, their profile picture on WhatsApp, and I realized it was a man. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine, okay. <laughs> A man that's fine I mean there's nothing wrong with men but I was just like oh, okay cool so then um, Roscoe starts messaging me like hi how are you da, 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 da. and then we just you know start conversating and I was just asking them what did they do blah 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 and then that's when Roscoe was like oh we should just hop on a call real quick and I was like sure that's fine so through conversation we realized um, we were both in Lagos um, well <laughs> Roscoe already knew I was in Lagos, but anyway, let's keep, let's, let's keep, just, okay. So, um, we hop on the phone, and I'm like, this is even perfect because I can, I can, it's best that I can, you know, I talk to you on the first phone first so I can get your vibe and see if I even want to, like, you know, meet up with you in person. So, we get on the phone, and we're talking, and that's when I, you know when you start getting flirtatious vibes from a man? So I'm like... Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm. You know, it's just, I wasn't expecting it, but whatever, cool. They're like, oh, your name is Chizzy. I see your, your Ebo. You seem to, you know, I followed you two weeks ago. Mm. Red flag for me, because I'm like, oh, so you already know who I am. So a conversation was already, like now I'm feeling a little like blindsided, because now I'm like, who? 
you followed me two weeks ago, so you found out who I was, and then I guess you asked Jess to reach out. I don't know, you know, so I just started feeling like, oh, okay, I don't know what's going on here. But, you know, I was being open to it, um, so I was just, like, asking them, like, oh, like, what do you do? How do you know Jess? Etc. Etc. And that's when they were telling me like, oh, I um, help her. I help her out with some of her business strategy and all of this stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So then after the conversation, I was like, I got like a little flirtatious vibes, but like, <sighs> I'm also a beautiful woman and like I'm single and young, and so I'm just like, you know what? What's the harm? Oh yes, it's all right. You know, that's when I look him up. I look up Roscoe online because I'm like who is this person <laughs> I look him up and I see like they have like this title for a business and I see their LinkedIn profile and I'm like okay okay this is this is someone that I kind of I kind of all right no problem if it's lunch that we want to do sure I'm down for lunch so we were chatting it up and then um that's when he was he was like you know we should um meet up soon we should like have lunch or something have lunch or dinner and i was like yeah we should definitely do lunch <laughs> because one thing about me i'm not doing no dinner with someone i'm uh, please dinner gives date and i just let's do lunch i'd rather see you in the daytime you know i can give you an hour of my time and if anything i can always like you know go do something after so you know i was you know i was busy i was out every day in Lagos. i was out wow but I was out every day. In the morning, he was like, hey, let me know your schedule. And I told him, I'm, I'm available today or tomorrow. And he was like, I'm actually available today. So um, let me know what time works for you. We had been out all night. So I knew I couldn't do like afternoon time. So I was like, hey, what about like 5 p.m.? Because 5 p.m., sun is still out. I can always, it's not too late. <laughs> so I was like, how about five? And he was like, five works, five is perfect. I said, okay and he was like i'll let you know the location in a bit so we decided this around like 9 a.m he said i'll let you know the location in a bit this is around 9 a.m said okay no problem i said oh he wants to even surprise me with a, a a location no problem let's see that was at 9 a.m right so time you know i'm just chilling doing my thing i was with you know uh some of my friends so we were just chatting it up and just like recapping the trip blah 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 that Oh, it's around like 2 p.m. and I realized I still don't know the location. He never reached out to me about the location. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at my friends like, hmm, you see this one? Oh, why don't I have a location? Like I need to know where I'm going. What if I was out? I needed to plan my route and all of that stuff. So that was around 2. I was like, okay, whatever. Let me just calm down. He'll probably reach out soon. I'm even looking at these messages. Wow. <laughs> my memory. Hmm. It's actually terrible. Wow, wow, wow. So around two, I still don't know anything. And I'm like, okay. So then I sent him a question mark because I'm like, hello. <laughs> and then that's when he's like, I'm so sorry. I had an emergency. I haven't looked at my phone since. And he was like, can we meet by 630, please? Forgive me. Now I'm like, see, now we're going into dinner hours. And I don't like this. But my friends were like, Chizzy, relax. It's okay, you're not really doing much today, so it's all right, just, they were like, go. Cause all my friends, they keep telling me I need to date. And I'm like, why? So I'm just like, okay, let's go with the flow here. Listen, don't ever go with any flow. But anyway, um, I was like, okay, we can do 6.30. He said, great. Um, and then he was like, he sent me the location. And it was a really nice restaurant. I looked it up on Instagram. I was like, oh. So now I'm excited. I'm like, okay, cause you know, the restaurant they pick says a lot. It really says a lot. So I'm like, okay, this one is proper. This is gonna be a proper. In fact, I've said, you know what? This is a date and I'm excited. Why not? <laughs> so I'm excited. I show my friends. I'm like, oh, this is where we're gonna go. I was like, cool, cool. So he calls me around five, I think or six, six, like, cause we're supposed to meet at 6.30. Mind you, I'm not leaving my house until I know that this man is like on his way there. Cause I'm not about to sit there and wait for nobody at nobody's restaurant. And Lagos people are always, you know, Lagos traffic and everything. Everyone is always running late anyway. So I kind of anticipated that things would be late, which was why the whole 5 p.m. thing, pushing it to 6.30, I knew I was like, this is gonna 
this is now pushing into the night, but whatever. So I had already made plans with my friends for the evening time for like eight o'clock, which is why I scheduled five. So when he pushed to 6.30, he actually called me a little bit later just to like let, let me know that he was on his way, but that he'd still be running a little late and that he'd get there at seven. And I told him, I said, listen, I have plans with my friends at 8, 8.30. So you, we were supposed to be there this at this place from five. You said 6.30, cool. Just so you know, I'm gonna have to leave around 8, 8.30. Because I feel like I just had to kind of let him know because I'm not about to be there all night with you and you need to know that. <laughs> and of course, if the vibes are right and that was, you know, I just want to make sure I have an out just in case. He's like, okay, cool. I'm, um, I'm in a little bit of traffic. I'm coming from the mainland. So I may be there around seven. And I'm like, now I'm really annoyed, but my friends are like, Chizzy, it's okay. Just go enjoy your time. I said, okay, problem. Mm. He's like, I'm on his way, I'm on my way by seven. So around 6.30, I was about to, you know, head over because it was about 30 minutes from me. Oh, he calls me. Yes, at 6.30. And he was like, oh, actually I just made it. And I was like, okay, cool, I'm on my way. And he's like, bad news. I said, bad news. <laughs> I'm like, what is it this time in my head? What is it this time? Man said, you actually need a reservation and there's no open tables. In my head, I'm like, Wait a second. Because this is a new restaurant too. In my head, I'm like, wait, so you didn't call to make a reservation? Something that you knew about from the morning? Or even at least afternoon? Yo, I was so annoyed, guys. Like, I was just like, I got so quiet on the phone. I was just like, I was like, maybe we should reschedule. Because <laughs> now I'm over it. Like, I don't want to see you. There's certain things that people will do that it's like, it starts making you think, okay, you don't have sense. You actually must not have sense because why would you ever think to do that? His excuse was, oh, I don't really go out much. So I didn't like know to make a reservation. And I said, <laughs> you're gonna go take a woman out. Eh? And you didn't think to make a reservation. Come. I could tell like he really wanted me to, like he wanted to meet up and he was, cause this, I guess this was the only day he could. So he was like, you know, don't worry, let me look around the area real quick and find a place where we can go that's available. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know what it's just like, okay, sure. So I got off the phone and I look at my friends like, so you people think I should still go to this den? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm looking at my friend's side right now because what? Why would they allow me to go? The, like there are so many stuff, like there were so, several red flags. I was over it. I didn't want to go, but they were just like, I guess for my friends in their defense, like they know that I don't really date. So they're just like, just go, like just go, just go. I'm like, okay. I think around 10 minutes passed and then he calls me with a new place and I look it up on Instagram and I'm like, I'm not going there. <laughs> my mom's like, I'm not going there. So my friends are like, let me find a place. So my friend ended up finding a place that's really nice and she was like, tell him to just take you here. Because sometimes with men, you have to take uh, things into your own hands. I recommend the place and he's like, okay. I was like, can you call them and make sure that there's a reservation? Oh man, I'm so rude. But he was like, yeah, I'll call and make sure. I said, cool. He called and he said, there they can take us. I said, perfect. I will see you there in 15 minutes. He said, okay. I look at my friends. I said, okay, guys, I'm heading over. <laughs> so mind you, I don't think I, I brought like, I had like a little bit of cash left, like a little bit of Naira left, but not a lot. But let me tell you something about Lagos culture for the most part, at least the Lagos that I've experienced. The men that I'm usually, you know, that's usually, they take care of everything, okay? So I don't ever really like, if I know I'm going out with like a man or like, you know, on a date, like they gonna take care of you. So I didn't, I wasn't really too worried about not having enough cash on me. Plus I also had my, my travel, um, my travel credit card. But like I said, in like a lot of my vlogs, a lot of my night job vlogs, if you guys haven't watched them, you guys should. My travel card wasn't really working out there, so <laughs> in my head I'm like, Chizzy, I hope everything goes well, which I wasn't too worried about, but my card wouldn't, more likely than not, wouldn't work, and I didn't have enough cash, so I was just like, Whoa, well, let's see. That was a mistake. Always have emergency money on you ladies, like always, always. <laughs> 
I get to the place and we actually kind of pulled up around the same time. I see him and you know, he was a nice looking guy. He was around like my height, beard, just a nice looking guy. I said, okay, nice, he looks nice, he, he dressed nice. I said, okay, cool. So I met him and I was like, hello, blah, blah, blah. So then we go into the restaurant and we proceed to have our little date, right? So now, of course, I'm in person. I'm a vibe person. I love vibing with people and just like, you know, getting to know them. So if I'm already there, I'm gonna give you my full attention and, you know, let's... I don't, I don't know what this is, but let's see. I don't know. So we're chatting it up and that's when I start asking him, you know, questions about himself and just his life and all this stuff. And, um... <laughs> the waiter comes guys the waiter comes the waiter comes and they're like are you ready to order would you like any drinks and I'm like yeah sure <laughs> why not he's looking at the menu and he was like "Ooh, wine would be nice or like a cocktail I'm not sure and in my mind I'm like oh yeah wine would be nice like maybe we should get like a bottle of wine or something I don't know why I suggested that but that's why I suggested what I like to do, I like to test them. I like to see, you know, where where are we at? What's the budget on this date? I was like, a bottle of wine would be cool. We, Cause he suggested wine, so I said, me too, I like wine, so let's get a bottle. <laughs> and I had looked at the prices on the menu and I saw the menu, I saw the price of like a bottle of wine. And I think like, it ranged. It was like from 30K Naira to like 60K, around that. So the waiter was there and I was like, we should, we should get wine, we should get a bottle. And he was like, he paused. <laughs> Why he paused? <laughs> Why he paused, y'all? And then he was like, actually, I think I want a cocktail. I looked at the price difference and I said, okay, okay, no problem. I was like, ah, that's fine. That's, in fact, it's even better for me. Sure, let's do a cocktail. But my senses started going off. I was like, I said in my head, I said, Chizzy, this man doesn't have money. He doesn't have money for you. And now I'm on my P's and Q's. Like, I'm just like, so I started asking questions, you know? I was like, so how do you know Jess again? You know, I really wanted to hear the story now. Y'all know what y'all wanna know he said? Okay, let me tell you what he said. He said, I met Jess by, um, through Facebook. I chatted her up and, you know, we got to talking and turns out, you know, she needed some help with her business strategy. So I've just kind of been helping her with business strategy and, you know, we've just kind of uh, became friends from there. And I said, you chatted her up on Facebook? Hmm. Roscoe lives in Nigeria, born and raised. I said, hmm, okay. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, okay. You chatted her up, huh? Now remember how I said her name is Jess? I'm not trying to do stereotypes, but you know, Jess is, Jess is, Jess is not black. <laughs> okay. And he, right, so Jess is not black. Chat her up on Facebook. I'm like, okay, all right, cool, fine. We're chatting, da da da. And I'm like, I don't know, something. I was just like, how did you get here? I just wanted to know. Because I didn't see how he got here. He said, I took a bolt, which is like an Uber. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, hmm. Now, there's nothing wrong with not having a car. You know what I mean? You can not, I like, and people take. Ubers and stuff all the time. So that wasn't like crazy, but with his track record now, I'm like, hmm, second or third or fifth red flag at this point. I'm like, okay. He was telling me a little bit about his situation that, you know, uh, um, he's staying with a family member right now because their um, his sister just gave birth and he's helping her out. So I was like, oh, okay, that's so lovely. I said, so, but where do you normally stay? Like, where do you actually stay? I know you your, your sister stays there and you're staying with her, but like, and you help her, but like, where do you normally stay? <sighs> he proceeds to tell me that, well, after a hesitation, of course, um, that he's actually staying with his sister full time and he's looking to get his own apartment next year. I said, I don't know where I am and who I am with and I'm scared. <laughs> That's when it clicked. I said, oh my God, this man. Actually, it doesn't get, it gets worse, actually. 
So remember how I looked him up on, on Google and I found his LinkedIn, so I saw his job title and stuff. So of course, naturally, I'm like, tell me about your work and all of this stuff. And, and that's when he's like, oh yeah, yeah. I, I asked about the position that I saw on LinkedIn because that's what it says his current position is. And I was like, so how's that going? How did you get involved with that? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh yeah, it's amazing that it's telling me all these things. And he's like, you know, the position just ended. And I was like, it just ended. He was like, yeah, it was like a three month thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, so what are you? In my head, I'm like, so, oh, so you don't have a job. So guys, this man doesn't have a job, a car, uh, an apartment. What else? <laughs> I was like, so now my anxiety is through the roof because I'm like, oh my God, I don't know who Jess just introduced me to. I don't know what is going on. I was freaking out in my mind. So I asked to go to the bathroom because I'm just like, I need a break. I need a break. I'm like, I, I was freaking out y'all in my mind. Like, <laughs> I'm sure, I know my body language had to have shown it. So I go to the bathroom and I'm just like, oh my God, I need, so I started thinking about my exit plan. Now remember, thank God, I already had my plans with my friends after. I think by this point, it's like 7.45. I'm like, all right, Chizzy, you can tell him that you need to start wrapping up and we need to, you know, we just gotta get going because this is not okay. Like in our conversation, he was asking me, he was telling me about how he learned about me two weeks ago and started following me and all these things. You know, he was like, you know, we should definitely get a picture and <laughs> ah, I said, well, is this a fan? What the heck is going on? Like. I just, I was, I was lost. I was, and I was scared. <laughs> I was really, really scared. Cause I'm just like, I don't know who Jess just introduced me to. And I don't think Jess even knows who this Roscoe man is, like actually. So the whole thing was just like, <sighs> but anyway, I gathered myself in the bathroom and I was just like, all right. I had a game plan and I was like, we're gonna head out soon. So I get back and I tell him like, you know, just so you know, like I still have to meet up with my friends soon. And he was like, cool. Cause one thing about me and just in life, like you have to manage people's expectations. People can't just think they have time. Like you have all the time in the world. For no, I have, you actually have an hour and a half and we've exceeded it. So we have to wrap this up. But anyway, I'm like, all right, Chizzy, well you're here at least get something out of this so he said he was doing business strategy with jess right so i asked him for business strategy chip t tips you know for my business i said what can i be doing so i got a little something something fine that's when i'm just like yeah this thing has dragged it's time for me to go so you know i'm just like oh, that was too good let's get the bill <laughs> so i guess he got the hint and like called for the bill or whatever the waiter brings the card reader brings out his card, he puts his card in for the card reader. The card didn't go through, it declined. <laughs> oh no, no, I've actually suffered. <laughs> it declines. And you know, the POS is, the, the card readers in Nigeria, they're always declining, it's always issues, it's always faulty. So he's like, oh, let me do it again. It declines. He said, bring another one, bring another one. Guys, I started just, I started calling my boss. I said, my boss said two minutes. I said, my boss here gonna be here in two minutes, just saying that. But I'm trying not to be rude. Like, actually I didn't say that, I didn't say that. But I'm looking at my boss and it's two minutes away. So I'm just like. <laughs> just like. And he's like, is your boss gonna be here soon? I was like, yeah, two minutes actually. <laughs> yeah. So she brings another card reader. Can you guess what happened? Yes, it declined. Yes, it did. I'm freaking out, y'all, because one, I did not bring in, I didn't bring enough cash. This is why you always have the emergency cash. But it's actually good that I didn't have emergency cash. And I'll tell you why. I didn't have any emergency cash and I knew my car wasn't gonna work, but I wasn't gonna offer in the first place because what is this? That's when he's like, you have a Nigerian bank account, I can just transfer you the money, you can do it. And I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> 
No, I don't. Which I don't, so I'm sorry. I do have an account, but I didn't have a debit card by that point, so I still couldn't do transfers and all that. So I'm just like, I, I actually I actually couldn't help. Like, normally, like, honestly, in that situation, if I had the money and my card was working, I would have just paid for it and gone. But I couldn't actually do anything, so I was just like, so that's how, of course, my bulk gets here and I'm waiting, I'm waiting, because I don't want to be rude and just like dip. I want, you know, to, you know, see it through, whatever. The bulk cancels. I'm just like, now I'm pissed. Now I'm annoyed. I was so annoyed, y'all. Like, I was just like, I want to get out of here. <laughs> like, I just felt trapped and I needed to go. And he was like, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to situate this. And I'm like, okay. I knew he felt like awkward and bad, but I'm just like, sir, you knew you didn't have enough money. Like now the international cards, like the POS situation, like those are actually faulty. Like when it comes to international cards, because a lot of the cards like just read it as faulty. I mean, as fraud because it's coming from Nigeria. So like if he had an international card and this was happening, that would be one thing. This man has a Nigerian debit card. I'm like, there is not enough money on your card. You like obviously. So I'm just like, listen. I just called my next one, and my mind, I'm said, Chizzy, once this car comes, you're out of here because this is actually disrespectful. <laughs> like this is disrespectful. There is no reason why you thought this was ever gonna be okay. Am I bugging? Like, and I felt a little bad. I really did because I was just like. I get it, you know, not everyone has it like that, but why are you coming outside? Why are you inviting someone? Knowing fully well you can't pay for it. Ah, that just made me upset. So anyway, so yeah, he's sitting there, he's calling. He's now on the phone trying to talk to me. I'm just like, Chiz, you gotta get out of here. Guys, my bolts came and I said, I said, Roscoe, my bolts is here. I have to actually go. But let me know how this like, you know, works out. He was like, yeah, for sure. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Like, I don't want to hold you up. And then he's like, but you know, don't forget about our picture. <laughs> I said, yeah, for sure. I, this is how I just said, I, t I opened the camera. I said, I just turned this way because he was across from me. I turned and I said, jeez. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'll send it to you. <laughs> nice to meet you. And I ran. I, I, well, of course, I shimmied out. And then I ran. Because what was that? What was that? I, what was that? Y'all, please tell me if I am bugging. But, ah, I could not believe that happened. I couldn't even. The woman was too stunned to speak. I was too stunned to speak. Guys, what was that? Hey! I had to just look at my, sit with myself. And I just, I learned such a valuable lesson though from that situation. One, always have emergency on money on you, yes. But two, don't always trust people's referrals and people that they're introducing you to. Just because someone introduces you to someone does not mean you have to meet up with them does not mean the, the anything it doesn't mean anything actually <laughs> and you know i did do my due diligence and i i think i you know did my proper research and asked enough questions but just like the whole thing i was just like wow i couldn't believe it i really couldn't believe it i was so upset i was so upset i was just like why and again there's nothing wrong with just not being where you want to be financially or whatever that's fine, but don't include me into it. What kind of nonsense is that? That's how he's chatting me after, oh, everything was situated. I said, good, that's lovely. Thanks, mate. nice meeting you. The next day, how are you? This day, yeah, yeah. I said, sorry. <laughs> You're no longer gonna have access to me. Like what? But best believe, Jess is also canceled. You introduced me to, no, no, so yeah. That's that. I haven't spoke, I don't plan on speaking to any of them ever again because no. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Like, what do you think about the whole situation? I just, oh man. Oh, no, 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 no. That cannot happen again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button because new videos coming out every week and i'll catch you guys in my next one Mwah. bye y'all